How do winglets affect the aerodynamics of the aircraft? Well, in general, our correct name is not winglets, but sablelets. Pay attention to this. As a rule, they are winglets, so vertically, almost there or at some large angle. And with the help of Tsagi and our engineers, we have developed special wing tips, which we called sabelets. Well, they look as nice as a saber practically here. Them. In addition, they save about 3% of fuel, that is fuel efficiency has increased by 34% and this is quite a large indicator for the aircraft transport category. And they also allowed us to reduce the landing speed by 4 knots. That is, we can use them to land on shorter runways since the landing speed is lower and thereby further increase the efficiency of our aircraft. At what altitude is a civil aircraft tested? At all altitudes, I would say that civilian aircraft are tested, but cruising altitudes are somewhere of the order 10, 600 and above. Here our plane has a ceiling of 12 till 200 or 400 echelon. This echelon is not often found for this class of aircraft. This is our plane, it's one of those. I even remember such a case. When we were still testing the basic aircraft, we flew from Arkhangelsk, Zhukovsk and on the echelon. In 2004, it was 13 to 200 and the dispatcher asked me then it was not so common that now a lot of superjets fly, so it's not so surprising. He asks what type, I say dry superjet 100, he says is this new or not, then yes, I say new, but why do you fly so high? I say we have a basic echelon, this one he says, usually says such planes do not fly on such echelons, but what is your ma? I say zero eight Mach O says, you Mach as big as they say. Boeing type 37 is the same, they fly at approximately the same Mach. Well, I say thank you that these are our basic parameters. I say that's what the dispatcher was very surprised at then. Well, now I think about 150 aircraft are in operation and about 50 aircraft are constantly in the air. Now, if you look at flight radar superjets, there are a lot, then such parameters no longer surprise anyone. And this plane will be even more capable. Well, as they say, meet these parameters because its dynamics will be better than the base aircraft. Well, I hope the fuel efficiency will be no worse and maybe even better because the engines 8, which we already fly, tests also show good results. To check with the flight the maximum temperature regime, you will have to fly to the North Pole in the Sahara Desert. No, we have certain base points where we check minimum temperatures. This is Yakutsk. I was there two times on trials and it is a very interesting place. If anyone has not been there, everyone is recommended to go there as tourists. That's because it's very interesting to watch when the temperature is minus 50 and below. Here we tested our plane, the previous one at a temperature of minus 53. I think that at least it's confirmed. Maybe if it's possible to catch it like this, it's not just such a temperature. I had to go on a business trip and fly to catch it twice. There will also be a lower temperature, but for high temperatures we usually use in our partners in Arab countries. Well, you still have a big test program ahead of you. We wish you luck. Thank you very much. I hope that we will complete it on time and with good quality. And in the next year or so, this plane will be on the line to carry passengers.